Um, obviously, uh, not the result we wanted. Um, but again, our kids worked their tail off and they, they played really hard against a, a good St. Thomas team. And unfortunately, we weren't able to, uh, we weren't able to finish this one out, but, uh, you know, we told the guys after there's nothing I can say to them after the game like that, that's going to make them feel better. I don't have a, a, a magic quote I can give them to make them instantly feel better. The, the, the great thing was, is that on the bench after the, the fourth goal was scored, um, the guys immediately got up and said, Hey, we're not quitting, you know, go give, go give Christian a pat and, um, so that says a lot about the, the, the players that are on that bench. Um, and again, it's not one person's, it's not one person's responsibility to win or lose us a game. It, it takes a, takes the whole group and, and uh, we'll get back to work on Monday and, and uh, do the best we can. Yeah, last night you were down three nothing going into the first, or going into the first intermission. How did you respond? How big was that with the second one after St. Thomas scored the first? Yeah, we would have loved to score the first goal. Uh, I think that's a, that, that's a big deal. When you score the first goal, it just, it, it kind of lets some air out of the balloon and you get a chance to breathe and, and, uh, settle into your game. Uh, but our response tonight was, was good that we t tied it up. And, and, uh, so we're definitely in a better spot going into the second period. And, uh, nice to get a power play goal tonight, which was good. And, uh, we felt like our guys did, a, did, did, we did some, good things this weekend. It wasn't like, you know, a lot of times if you, if you uh, don't win on the weekend, you, you don't feel like you did a lot of good things. We did some good things. Um, this was college hockey. You know, sometimes you do good things and things don't go your way and uh, maybe the bounces don't go your way. And hopefully that'll, that'll balance itself out uh, moving yeah. forward. Yeah, that second, that second goal in the 20 seconds, it's not what I'm looking for. Being very up to play, that a play or was that yeah, it's a, that's a play we have. Uh, quick strike play we have where we flip the wingers and Jaden, we, we won a bunch of draws in a row down there, which was really good to see. And we did a nice, we've done a nice job on the draws all year. And uh, so, yeah, so Brody waters makes a real nice play wins a wins a race on the face off and, and, and scores a nice goal and then followed up with, uh, with Quinn's goal. So yeah, that uh, got the crowd into it and got the bench going and uh, it was really, really good to see. Yeah, it was a good second period. Um, so, so last night we had a good second period. Uh, tonight we had a good second period. Um, and then we, you know, we stayed with it and, and, uh, kept working and, um, uh, it's just unfortunate, but, but again, that's, that's, uh, somehow some, sometimes how things go for, um, in, in college hockey. So, uh, we're not going to feel sorry for ourselves. We're not going to, all we're going to do is, uh, come back to work on Monday and, and work on the things we can work on and, Try to try to move forward and get better. Yeah, Nick did a nice job. Yeah, yeah. Ben hurt his uh, hurt his wrist yesterday and uh, not broken, so that that's a good sign. But um, yeah, we asked Nick if he'd be willing to to do that, and and he did a nice job. He was more than willing, and good to see him uh, get some good shifts in and with with his line and, and do a nice job. So yeah, happy for Nick and. Uh, Certainly want to recognize his effort in, in, a, in a tough spot. Yeah, I mean, we we tried the, the goal in moving Nick up there. You know, we could have gone 11 forwards and, and seven defensemen, but we thought if we go 12 forwards, that, that allows us to play four lines. Or if we don't play four lines, at least it keeps everybody together. Otherwise, you kind of have to mix and match the whole time, and, and that can be tough on guys. And then you end up leaning on a bunch of guys we, we wanted to at least start the game with four lines. And if we had to go to 11 forwards or roll three centers or centers or whatever we, we chose to do, uh, we would do that. And, and I know on the back end, a lot of times it's easier uh, to go 60 because everybody knows who's up. You're not trying to find a spot to put that, you know, find some ice time for that seventh defenseman. But uh, all in all, we felt like the guys that were in tonight did, did, a, did the best job they could and, and uh, proud of the effort.